So yeah, this game, Super Nintendo Power Rangers. Fun fact, this game does not feature anything from the movie. If you want the movie experience, play the Genesis version. That actually plays more like Final Fight, Streets of Rage. This is just a regular oh, action beat em up. A little bit of platforming. And I run this on Hard Morphless, which is when you start the game, you start in your unmorphed form. And then once you collect enough power, you'll be able to morph into your ranger form. And you get to choose from the original six rangers, start from the second season. Billy, yeah, we don't even talk about using Billy. We'll be using Rocky, I'll explain to each other rangers as I go on, but I really don't use them. Casually, they're good, but Billy, you never touch Billy. Alright, so the time's going to start when we're able to move once we're teleporting to the stage. <laughs> That's a shame. I didn't know they made one for the Sega CD. It's all good. Alright, so we'll be able to start here in about three seconds. So once we start Rocky, we we'll able to teleport in, and we'll be moving on. So about three... Two, one, start. Alright, so as I said, this game has nothing to do with the movie. Hell, even fight, I even news about it. Not even a good fight. Yeah, it doesn't even look like Billy. Alright, so we're going to be using the Red Ranger, Rocky. His toolkit has the easiest for a speedrun, actually, with that jumping kick we're doing right there. You can easily do double kicks with uh, any enemy that takes more than two damage. So the purple putties. These regular putties just take one hit. You can also use Adam as well, but when he's morphed as the Black Ranger, it's not really as strong as the Red Ranger because his reach with the Power Axe is not that well, as well as his power move. And speaking of power, about to morph actually. Kill this last pony, wait for this guy. Look out, I'm morphing! Billy percent incentive. It is, but it's a sellout thing, uh, Yami. Billy's just bad. Really bad. Yeah, I'm morphing there! <laughs> well, it is morphless. Like, we start morphless. If you complete the game on hard mode, you get a code to unlock a cheat code to play the game, starting as morphed. So there's four categories, normal morphless, hard morphless, so then normal morphed, hard morphed. Even though I don't have my time on the category for speedruns.com, I do have a second place run in hard morphless for 32 flat. World record for this game is um, 31, um, 22, I believe, 420. And I got enough power for the first mini boss coming up here. You can one shot this dude. Let's wait three seconds or three shoulder shrugs and boom. Insta kill. Yeah, anyway, we're still getting with Rocky for the majority of the run. You'll probably see a brief appearance by Kimberly at the end if I can switch on her quickly. Mainly for her running animation and going into Ivan News is the fastest. But yeah, speed on rise, Rocky's your main boy gonna be using the Adam's similar to Rocky, but his power axe is not as strong as the power sword, and it has a shorter reach than the power sword as well. Kimberly and Aisha, they may be the fastest unmorphed, but they're also the weakest compared, well, weaker than Billy. But their ranger forms is not really lackluster. Power, the power daggers with Aisha's super short reach as well as uh, Kimberly's power bow.
I want to make sure I'm going into this fight with full power so we can wreck Mirror Magnet. There we go. Alright, first boss mini Mirror Magnet. Not really RNG related, just execution. Get him to the screen, about six, seven hits, do opposite. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take an early hit. We'll probably teleport again. Use the power move, and then he should die. There we go. Fights are real fast in this game. The only fight that's RNG dependent is Skellerina on the third stage. She always gives me a problem. And like the movie, none of this happens in the movie. We are in the city now. We're just cruising along in a boat. We're about to go into an airbase. Don't even know why the Super Nintendo did this. Because the one in the Genesis version actually follows similar to the movie as well as some of the episodes in the second season. Yeah, anyway, the girls aren't featured. The only one probably featured would be Kimberly at the final stage. Selecting to her. And then you could probably think, in, why am I not using Tommy? He's the leader of the Rangers. His Ranger form is powerful, but his um, civilian form is a little bit weak. Like, he doesn't have a good, cool kit compared to Rocky. And his Ranger form is different as well. I guess it has a sword, Saba, but... Not as good as the power sword. And then Billy. Yeah, Billy just gets the short end of the stick. Yeah, originally the Red Ranger was the leader until Tommy came back after he was his Green Ranger evil self. Lost his power, and then Zordon and Alpha decided, like, hey, we'll make the White Ranger. And we'll make him the new leader and everything. And if there's not, like, a Six Ranger who's the leader, it's always the Red Ranger. Yeah, what Lois said, he becomes the official Red Ranger when they transfer to Zeo. But yeah, Billy... He's, he's never used for a run, only for, like, meme runs. He is the slowest and weakest unmorphed. Yeah, just pure bad. Alright, simple section. He can ricochet those missiles coming back at you from those putties in the foreground. Background, I mean. Yeah, got the kill there. Jump over those guys. This part right here is a little tricky because you can't take a death if you go really fast from that putty shooting you with the gun. And I'm gonna go for the leap of faith for this. You can jump across that water platform there, but it's really precise jump. Hopefully I can get the quadra kill here. It's really rare to get it here with the possessions of those missiles. And I'm gonna take a death here. I wanna be at full health going into cannon top. Again, none of this happens in the movie. Because in the movie you just start flying in an airplane. Well, like, hey, we're flying, we're doing tricks and stuff, and then Ivan comes out and is like, I'm the new leader, boys. And then, you fight his little Ivan kids. And all that stuff. Here, we don't even do that. Yeah, he was the Black Ranger in Dino Thunder Loyal. Yeah, Lord's Ed was in the movie. 
the heat. Him and Rita really had minor rows. Because they end up being in snow globes. Alright. Cannon Top's one of the easier bosses in this run. Just jump back and forth along the spike pits here. Ooh, almost a perfect fight, actually. Took a little step forward. Yeah, all you do is just jump back and forth between that spike pit right there with the power sword. Easy every time. Alright, stage three, auto scroller. You know, I should have made a snowman like this on Thursday when it snowed here. It was too cold, though. I never made snowmen before. <laughs> Alright, Skull Arena, the bane of the run. She is pure RNG. There's no way to manipulate her. You just gotta take what you can when the fight starts. So yeah, stage 3, just boring auto scroller. Start off on the mountainside. Scroll, surf down. We'll sled down to the water. And hey everyone coming in, tuning in from a conscious stream and all my usuals. Hope you're having an awesome Saturday tonight. So stick pulling up. Yeah, I've never made a snowman before actually. I should have would have snowed here in my area Thursday. Right, say hi to Green Biker Dude, sub cousin from Mega Man X2. And say goodbye to him now. This putty right here is weird because he's always holding a hamburger. It's like, why would you take a burger while you're going down a mountain? It's like, it'd be cold. Unbelievable. How did your uh, Final Fantasy 7 run go? Because I heard you died at Demon's Gate, right? Yeah, it's just a traditional action game, uh, right, Reno? Always like doing a power move going off the mountain there. Crit on his final turn? Dude, that sucks. I, I've seen that happen in Caleb's run so many times. Either that or he screws up with his inputs. Just Reno? Alright, no problem. Alright, so continue on with the auto scroller, just surfing along the river. We punch, we can literally kick a fish and they explode. Anyway, more info. It's just a simple two-player game. You can see on the right or right-hand screen. You can have another person. If I had someone in my area actually run this as well, it'd be a faster time. Or net player, or anything like that. From emulators. Okay, right, just kick some more fish, jump over some more logs, and dodge more boulders until we get to. Uh, Skill Arena. So, can I... I don't think anyone submitted a two-player category, um, Yami. Alright, so, Skill Arena. This boss is pure RNG. What I'd want her to do is either give me flamethrowers, which you can get good four attacks in, or swipe me with her claw. See what she starts with. Scythe, get two hits in. Alright, I want I want these attacks and a flamethrower. Because other than that, she'll just shoulder charge me like she's doing now and teleport up to the top of the screen. You can easily backflip that flamethrower attack and not get damaged. Alright, Scythe. 
Alright, shoulder bump. She's gonna teleport back down. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Like, I can lose anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute if she gives me bad RNG with those shoulder tackles. But if she gives me good RNG and nothing but claw swipes and flamethrowers, I can save 30 seconds in the run. What's up, P-Ranger? Um, in the original Super Nintendo one, uh, Tasha, the first game that came out, her slaps of death is just too powerful. Alright, stage four, just going on a train, going through some train tracks and then train yard at the end. Simple, just kill some more putties and watch out for those little dudes climbing up on the trains. Take care so I don't get hit by that butterfly monster. Or that dude. Yeah, took some extra damage, I really didn't want to. But to grab a burger near the end of the segment so I won't die to the mini boss here. You can also destroy these ones that say danger on it for high damage and high points as well, but it takes a while, like 10 hits. All right, coming in with really low health and we'll have to probably morph early so to avoid death. Yeah, we'll have to morph early. What these things, these core gems right here, they take about eight health unmorphed. And then you kill them with a morph. That's the normal strat, but I came with low health, so it's back up. Now we just wait for the train to blow up and kill some more putties. And fun fact, some of these putties that you see, like, you don't even see in the show, like these brown ones who try to jump kick you. Or the ones holding guns or energy swords like that. Just regular old putties. Just one hit to the middle of the chest, boom, blows up. Or even shooting with AK-47s right there. It's like, why would a putty need an AK? Alright, grab the power here. What? Truck there. Backflip over this fire pit to take the damage boost. I'll take a burger just to be safe. Manic brain can be a little of a jerk. Yeah, start off. Yeah, this is what you don't want him to do, just ricochet you away from him. Doing a bad here. Yeah, I did a bad there. That was supposed to happen there where I probably lose my power. Yeah, got the fight on without the sword. So, a little bit of a choke, but the run's not over. <laughs> This would be a reset in my runs, but yeah. Let's wait for him to come back down, try to be safe for this. Right. Off screen kill. It's kind of bad because you have to wait for them to walk back to the screen. 
So, lower the time loss. Alright, stage 5 coming up is one of my favorite stages. It's a three segment area and it has one of the best music in the game. Right, jump over that. Now, these robots I'm fighting right here. They are RNG dependent if they drop big thunderbolts or little small ones like that one. I'm looking for big ones. And right now I got two small ones, which is really bad. Because by the end of this segment, I want to be at full power to morph. Alright. That's fine. I need a couple of more. Or we'll grab the one up here for safety as well. Another small power. Not good. Take it after. And getting some bad RNG with these robots. Now this is where Rocky's character really shines, finding this tank right here. Nice, got the one cycle. All right, Ninja right here, you can get two hits to three hits, and three hits is really rare, just button mashing. Nice, I got the three hit there. Right, if I can get another big power, we'll be good to go for this next segment. Perfect. Alright, jump over those. You get shocked there. I just call those shocker dudes. I don't know what their real names are. And here's when we morph again to disable that barrier blocking us. Over, make sure you not get hit. Backflip here so you can try to take a damage boost off that big um, sentry robot. Alright, these crushers are really bad. You cannot skip them or clip through them. You have to wait for them to go down and up. Even the task version of this game, you have to wait for them. Because if you get hit by them or crushed, one hit KO. Safety. Hey, you can take a backflip. If funny thing about the backflip mechanic, you are completely invincible while you're doing that. As soon as you come out of that, then you take then you take damage again. Thank you, Piggy. See, right there, I just did a backflip and completely avoid damage from that laser. Did it again. Alright, third part of the climb. Hoping for a damage boost to get off to that other side. Right, 
Right, coming up is another nice trick in this game, Ninja Skip. Fight another ninja up here, but if you stay out into the edge over here, hopefully he'll go over to my right. You can uppercut him off, but right now he's being a bad ninja. There we go. Peace out, Girl Scout. Normally you have to fight the ninja normally, but just uppercut him off the tower and he's dead. Yeah, I missed the cycle there. You tell that to the villains, uh, Tasha. Common bad luck, bad guy logic. Light your minions too. Gotta be strong, right? Alright, Silverhorn, one of the harder bosses in this game. You don't want to punch it too fast, otherwise he'll go into that uh, invulnerability phase. Right there, if, I, if you punch too fast. Right there. You want to kind of stagger your punches. That was one power off. I should have killed a putty so I could have had the power sword for this fight. Should have another capsule coming in so I can finish it off. One more hit, and boom. No, it's a strategic thing. Yeah, she was the originator of the putties, and then Lord Zeb wanted to improve them. Nope, still have the same old weakness. Alright, last of the regular stages for this game. Like, stage 7 is the final one where you just fight Ivan and escape. There is a lot of stuff in this level that wants to go and kill you. Alright, wait for these two putties and make sure not to get clipped by the anti-gravity beams. Alright. Alright, this part right here, jumping over those uh, barbecue electric grills seem harder than it is. Sometimes I get the jump, sometimes I don't. Get lucky with them sometimes. I'm doing little short hops because that conveyor belt is kicking me against the other side. Got enough for Morph actually here. Right, well, let's stay on Morph for now until we get to the next area. Here, I was wanting to take a damage from those little guys down there. See if I was trying to get a backflip to take a damage boost from the rocket. Got the flip there to skip that sequence. And come up on the last regular boss's mainframe. Really interesting boss. It's not even in the series. It's just a little copy of um, Mother Brain from Metroid. 
and it's three little um, energy orbs. Green one's gonna shoot out projectiles, the red one's gonna shoot out a flamethrower, and the blue one shoots out lightning. What I do not want is the blue one constantly spamming lightning at me. Yeah, that's right. A big old brain comes comes out. I don't know where. Okay, so what I'm looking for is the green and the red ones to fire at me. And that attack right there, the kamikaze move, it's only on hard mode. Yeah, probably talk about the difference on hard mode. Hard mode, all the bosses have higher health and they may have new mechanics. This is one of the new mechanics with those orbs doing kamikaze move. It's giving me a lot of kamikaze attacks, which is not what I was expecting. At least we get no blue balls, which is good. Alright, coming up after this, I'll be switching to Kimberly. Okay, switching to her going into Ivan stage saves about half a second since she has fastest uh, running speed, unmorphed. switch. Yeah, no blue balls. And funny thing, um, each of the rangers, aside from the white ranger, is just a palette swap of the red ranger. So as you see Kimberly about to morph here, she's not going to look like the pink ranger. She's going to be red ranger, but with a pink palette. And final boss, Ivan News. Takes three hits, he'll do that little um, shockwave attack there with the spikes coming out, just back away from him. Wanted to go into the right corner and be a good boy. Or can do that. I don't want him to spam those energy orbs right there. He can get pretty spam happy. Do like three at a time. Alright, final phase, he'll do that big old shockwave attack. That does two damage, actually. If you get hit by that blast. Yeah, she doesn't even have the skirt. Alright, so you think the run's over? No, we're not. Now we gotta escape the lawyer. Yeah, a drawback from this game is even though you get to use the Rangers, you don't get to use their Megazords. The Genesis one, you do. And the uh, other ones, like the Fighting Edition and the other game for the Super Nintendo, you get to use the Megazords. Not in this game. It makes an appearance, but you never get to use it. Let's take a left there. Backflip to take that damage there. There's a couple of backflips here to take some damage reduction. But joking. I missed the leap, leap of faith since I missed the assignment of the platforms. Oh, good. Last part, we got to kill 16 putties. Once we kill the 16th one, the run is over. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
13, 14, 15, 16. Run's over. You would think the run would be over when the timer hits zero, but no, you can just stay right here. No matter where you're at in the game, you'll automatically run to the door at the end where the Ninja Falcon Sword will save you. We saved the world, guys. See, we don't even get to see the front of the Zord, just the back. It's kind of a letdown. And look, they're all so tired. Like, look at Billy. He's exhausted. Like, guys, hold me up. And what happens after you save the world from being teenagers? You go back to your school and have a martial arts fight. See who takes real dominance, Tommy versus Rocky, with Billy being the judge. Couple of errors here, you can release she has black hair apparently. And then what would Power Rangers be without Bulk and Skull wanting to interrupt the fun? Again, this is not like the movie. And what's their punishment? Getting their butts whooped. And that's the Power Rangers movie for you for Super Nintendo. Whoa. I should probably turn my alerts off. I should probably turn my alerts off. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go back to my stream lab and... Disable that. My bad. There we go. I'll mute it. Yeah, sorry about that. So that's the game. I'll wait for the end of the credits to show off the code if you guys ever want to play as a morphed ranger. Well, I'll get loaded for the next game. Uh, Kirby Stream Land 3. I run that on the Wii U uh, Virtual Console. See, that's the code, and that's the promo for the third game, the Fighting Edition. <laughs>